Good day everyone, we are group 8 and today we will be discussing about the composition of functions. Let us define the composition of functions. What are composition of functions? Given the two functions are f and g, f as a dependent function and g as an independent function, the composition of f with g is then denoted as f of g, which can be read as how I read it, or f circle g. f of g is then defined by the equation below. Basically, composition of function is done by substituting one function into another function. In taking the composition of functions, the following steps will be followed. First, establish the first equation based on definition and based on the given functions. Next, determine the dependent and independent functions. Substitute the right of the equation by the given expression of the dependent function. Substitute all x's of the dependent function by the expression of the independent function. Simplify the resulting expression. Take note that changing the order of the functions can result to equal or unequal values of composition. Now let us apply these steps and find the composition of the following functions. Example number 1. Find the composition of f with g when f of x is equal to 4x minus 3 and g of x is equal to negative x plus 2. So we write down f of g of x and we write down our dependent function which is our f of x 4x minus 3. Substitute the x with our independent function g of x which is negative x plus 2 giving us 4 times negative x plus 2 minus 3. Distribute 4 and we have negative 4x plus 8 minus 3. Lastly, we simplify and we come to the answer negative 4x plus 5. Therefore, the composition of f with g is negative 4x plus 5. Simple, right? Now let's try mixing it up a little bit. Let's try using the same given but inverting the functions from example 1. From f of g, let's make it g of f. So example number 2, find the composition of g with f when f of x is equal to 4x minus 3 and g of x is equal to negative x plus 2. So we have our solution g of f of x. Write down our dependent function which is negative x plus 2. Substitute x with the independent function so now it becomes negative 1 times 4x minus 3 plus 2. Distribute the negative sign, so now it becomes negative 4x plus 3 plus 2. Simplify and we have the composition of g with f is equal to negative 4x plus 5. So for a third example, let's try an example that contains an exponent in one function. Example number 3. Find the composition of h with g when h of x is equal to x plus 2x squared minus 4 and g of x is equal to negative 3x plus 2. So we write down h of g of x and we write down our h of x which is x plus 2x squared minus 4. We substitute the x with our g of x so now we have negative 3x plus 2 plus 2 times the square of negative 3x plus 2 minus 4. Next, simplify the term with the exponent using the FOIL method. Now our equation becomes negative 3x plus 2 plus 2 times 9x squared minus 12x plus 4 minus 4. Distribute 2 to 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. And it turns our equation to negative 3x plus 2 plus 18x squared minus 24x plus 8 minus 4. To make it easier, let us arrange our values. Then we simplify. Therefore, the composition of h with g 
is 18x squared minus 27x plus 6. That was a little tricky, but great job you got through it. Now for our fourth example, let's add a fraction into the mix. Example number four. Find the composition of P with G when P of X is equal to 8X plus 2 and G of X is equal to 1 over X. So we have P of G of X. Same as before, write down our P of X, which is 8X plus 2. Then substitute X with G of X, so it becomes 8 times 1 over X plus 2. Simplify 8 times 1 over X plus 2, which brings us to our answer. The composition of P with G is 8 over X plus 2. For our last example, example number 5, we have find the composition of H with G when H of X is equal to 3X minus 2 and G of X is equal to X plus 1 over 3. So we write our solution, H of G of X. Then write down our dependent function, 3x minus 2. Substitute x with x plus 1 over 3, giving us 3 times x plus 1 over 3 minus 2. Distribute 3 to the numerator, and it becomes 3x plus 3 over 3 minus 2. Reduce the fraction, and now it becomes x plus 1 minus 2. Then we simplify it. Therefore, the composition of h with g is x minus 1. We have now reached the end of our examples. Now let's have a small recap. Let us refresh our minds of what is composition of functions. Composition of functions is done by substituting one function into another function and is denoted as f of g, which can be read as f of g, like how I said it, or f circle g. f of g is then defined by the equation below, where f is the dependent function and g is the independent function. That's it for now, and thank you so much for listening. Hopefully, we have provided you with some guidance on the process of solving the composition of functions. This has been Group 8. Good luck and God bless.